What's up ladies and gentlemen? I'm back out here on the Bay of Quinney. Today I'm out here fishing some practice for the Berkeley B1 tournament with my boy Bobby. What's up folks? Practice? What are you guys thinking? Practice for fishing? Who practices fishing? Well, when the tournament you're playing for is worth, what, $35,000 and a brand new Ranger bass boat, you damn well better be practicing out here. So, I'm helping him out. Him and uh, Joey Desenzo, Swim Meet Addicts, are fishing that this weekend, so. I'll be fishing that for the next two days. Stay tuned, we'll see if we can get some, uh, some big green and brown bass. This isn't the juicy stuff we got on anymore. Okay, there's a little more weeds here. Yeah. Fresh. Oh, he's bigger than I thought, but he's still not huge. All right, first one to start it off. Just picked up the swim bait. Nice little, I don't know, one, one and a half pounder yeah. on the swim bait, baby. Get bigger, bring me your daddy. That's a far trip for smallmouth, yeah. man. Like, yeah, man, I go up there every day. Like. Every, sit like, that's not the same Eagle Lake. Eagle Lakes, oh, both in, both in. I got him, get the net. Dude, nice. my first bow fin. That's a tank too, man. That's awesome. Dude, that's my first bow fin, that's bud. Awesome. Look at that, eh? Dude, that's sick. First bow fin ever, guys. When we were fishing the Quinny Bass Champs, we saw a bunch of these guys. And we couldn't stick them, but these guys are basically dinosaurs. Like they're they're dating way back, hundreds of thousands of years ago, and they're they've also got lungs. I've heard so they can actually stay out of the water. All right, guys, first bowfin. These things are prehistoric. He just destroyed the jig. I'm pretty hyped up about that. He's I don't know. He's got to be like six, seven pounds maybe. But what do I know about bowfins? <laughs> Let's get him back in. You can dump that even. Oh yeah. That's sick, boys. I'll yeah, take that. That's awesome. First bowfin. Dude, that was a tank. That was a good bowfin. When you first said, oh, I was like, oh my god, is that a largemouth? They, well, the funny thing is, they come up and they smoke baits just like bass. Yeah. And they, he came, followed it up right to the boat, and I see him, and he just swooped and inhaled my jig, and I reefed on him. Thankfully, Bobby's a beauty on the net job. Ooh, that got the heart going. Now we gotta look for some greens. You recording? Nice dude. That's a good. That'll go two and two and a half, two and three quarters. A little big. Similar to that last one, yeah. That last big one you had. Nice one. There he goes. We're trying to stay quiet because uh, there's a boat near us and we just don't want him to know we're landing fish here. So that'll be our little secret. I guess how many tourneys have been fished here since opener? Probably four. One. Good one? Yeah. There we go, bud. About time. That's a good one. There you go, bud. Thanks, man. It's better. That's three and a half. High three, maybe. What do you think? Yeah, I think he'll go three. You want to scale him? He's short but fat. Short. I think he'll go, he might only go two and three quarters, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, 279. 279. Takes that out of this guy. Not a giant, but... Been a tough bite out. for us today, but we're at least getting a couple of high twos. Always, it's always easier to see people on the boat. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a bad choice. 
Yeah, right, I got bit on the other side of that. I was, I literally just threw it over top of all that grass. I knew, I knew it was gonna happen there. One picked it up just on the outside. Didn't seem big. But you never know. Sometimes a big one can make the small splash. That's not bad. Not bad. You want to boat flip him? Yeah, I'll flip him. He's got some crazy scars. That's actually the biggest, one of the bigger ones of the day. Yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. Okay, guys. I don't know if you saw that, the cast before that. I threw it over top of so much grass. And of course, he blew it up on that cast. Missed him. Next cast. Smacked him. In the boat. <sighs> on the frog. Nice little, I don't know, two, maybe two pounder. But, you know, it's a start. Grinding out for that bite. Oh, look at the scar on his face. He's definitely been caught before. Get back in there, boy. Yeah. So we know maybe it's, maybe this is what they're gonna be doing. Sitting in, yeah. And Just sitting in thick stuff. Sitting in thick stuff. And then Try to replicate anywhere else you can find it. That's what it's been. Well, that's a decent one. Yeah. yeah. Nice. You want net on that one? Get the, the action shot here. Woo! Woo! Look at that bow flip. There's a better one. That's a three all day. Let's put them to the scale. Yep. Nice. Oh yeah, 330. That's that, that's that clone, man. The same size that we were crushing on. Uh... There he is, that's a nice healthy looking one. Okay, sad bud, let's get some more. It's starting to upgrade our bag a little bit. Now we're probably at about like, I don't know, 15, 15 pounds maybe? We're getting there. All right guys, today's been an absolute train wreck with a big cold front coming through, but that's probably the best fish we've got to show for it. That'll go two, that'll go two and a half maybe. Either way, best one. All right guys, well, we're back at the house. That weather took a turn for the worse real fast, so I had to pack her in pretty quick. But you know, we ended up with a, 15 pound bag for the practice day. So, I mean, that's not bad. All we were really missing is that one better fish to kind of put us into a good position. So we're hoping the day turns out good for uh, Joey and Bobby on Friday for their first day of the B1 tournament. Uh, I'm sure by the time you guys see this, it'll already be over. So best of luck to them. Thanks, man. Good luck, boys. And uh, until next time, we will catch you guys again on another episode of the Blair Fish Project. Yeah.